We're out here boondocking in the New River Gorge, West Virginia. And I want to introduce you to Roxy, our 2021 Casita Heritage Deluxe, 17 foot. Let me give you a tour of the outside first. This is storage for our freshwater tank. And then I put some tools and extra things in the extra space there. Our sewer hose comes out of the back back here. This is where we fill our freshwater tank. And we got a customized Crag Mama spare tire cover. saw my solar video you realize that I moved the location of the battery this is normally where the battery is located but instead I am putting fresh water supplies there this is our um, hot water heater this is where our um, electrical plug if we were not boondogging we were actually plugged into a campsite that's where that cord comes out This is where we empty our gray and black water tanks. So black water tank is for sewage. Gray water is for shower and sink and that type of water runoff. We also opted for the outdoor shower. Notice it has a cold and a hot side. Like I said, we had a hot water heater so we can spray things down and actually give the kids a nice outdoor um, shower if we need to. It's been working great for spraying the kids off when they come back from the river or the lake or whatever. So one of the mods that I did early is add this Carlson Stromberg trailer tray. Um, really helped expand our storage so I didn't have to keep as much in our tow vehicle. I added this on the side for this uh, swivel stick thing that is used to clean out our our black tank. By adding the tray, I did have to change out the typical white propane tank covers with this zippered version. Um, I added some sensors to the bottom. These little bags make it easier to get the tanks out and also keep the sensors in play. And this up here is where I keep all of our running gear. Um, we have our tire chocks and our tire lock, also some of our um, sewer supplies. So this is the Sidewinder, which helps the sewer hose drain easier, and some hoses and things that we need for the sewer, as well as just other things we need to help hook up uh, the Casita. Also while I'm out here, we added our name of Roxy to the front, as you can see, and added solar panels to the top. 100 watt Renogy monocrystalline solar panels. All right, let's take a look on the inside. I have this uh, clothes hanger at the top here. We also paid, right after we got the casita, for Katie's casita closets to install this closet system for us, which has absolutely been fantastic. Here's the bathroom. Toilet, sink, shower, even some access down here storing some things, extra toilet paper, paper towels, whatever. We added this back here to hold some uh, hangers to hang maybe some wet clothes or something else. We added a tiki board for the bottom just to help keep um, things better for your feet. If it is wet in here, that thing dries up pretty quick. We're using Norwex cloths for a lot of our uh, calls here to help clean things. Ours is the heritage model. 
which means it's got bump beds on the side, which converts into a bench seat. It also means that all underneath here is massive storage. Camping chairs, other supplies. I have another access door up top. Where you can see I got some hammocks, some other things in here. On the other side, is actually where I store our batteries. Right here, a different view. We've got two 100 amp hour Battleborn heated batteries. It's a little bit of a mess wiring wise, but we also have our solar charge controller, our DC to DC charger. See another video I've made for the complete details of my solar install. This is our dinette space. It converts down into a double bed. And all this up top is storage for games, other things that we need. It actually stores our pillows, whatnot. Over here I have electrical and some other things that just need to get stored. We keep our foam topper and our bed sheets in the back there. This is our kitchen area. So first of all, this is our propane heater that keeps us warm. On the bottom, plates and cups and things down there. Trash can here with some other storage back behind that. Silverware things. This is our two burner stove and sink. Since we are boondocking, that means we have to use our water pump, which we keep on here. It does make a little bit of noise when we turn on the water to run. Our vent hood. It sucks air outside, gives us light to, to cook with. Up top. Paper towels and pots and pans, tea kettle, all that stuff. This is our major pantry for food or if we wanted to bring a microwave, we could put a microwave in there. Up top is where um, we have just some other supplies like bags and and some supplements and some things like that i did add this uh, hatch opener that keeps the hatch this uh this door open and you just push in makes it nice and easy to close and then this is our refrigerator i have a ton of stuff in it right now but it also does have a freezer up top looks like we have some Fun popsicles in there. Above us we have a ceiling fan. That we can actually run when it rains outside because it's got a cover to it. Um, and if we were hooked up to power, we could actually run our air conditioner and it also has its own heating element in there. And that's all controlled by our thermostat. While we're boondocking, everything in here runs off the batteries or propane, except for the air conditioner. That's the only thing that we can't run, but if we 
have our generator, we can run the air conditioner on that, but this time of year, we don't need it. Our water heater turns on right here to have it use propane. Our refrigerator is running on propane. And of course the stove runs on propane. Everything else runs off the batteries, which the solar recharges every day. Here's the battery monitor that I installed. So you can see exactly how much you have left. Um, voltage, how many amps you're pulling, watts, how many amp hours you've used up. So 95% pull, and this checks our propane tanks, tell them how much is, is left in them. I also have a mobile app, which shows me both of these things. I'll put this little shelf for Erica when she sleeps at night to keep her glasses in. And I added this shelf over here to charge cell phones and devices and things. One of the mods we did early on is we wanted to be able to see out of the back while we're driving. So I installed this here where I just lower that. And normally, normally I do this with the blinds down, but that enables the camera to see out of the back. And then that displays on our Highlander over the rear view mirror. Thanks for watching the tour of our new casita.